What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about the second book in the Devabad trilogy, The Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. So the city of Brass left off on kind of an explosive note. A lot of things happened. Prince Ali killed Dara who is actually not dead but whisked away somewhere and Prince Ali was like taken over by this crazy water demon and we have Nahari who now has to be this Bana Nahida and she's engaged to be married to Mutadir and Jamshid was like crazily injured and a lot, a lot of things. We kind of ended on a pretty like explosive note. Opening up in this book, we learned two things immediately. So Dara is hashtag not dead, but he was brought back to life by none other than Nahari's mother, Banu Maniza, who is also hashtag not dead and who is also planning this crazy coup to overthrow the Katanis in Devabad. That's all happening in the background. That's just like, we're gonna be plotting all of this stuff. You'll check in with us every so often. They don't really touch the rest of the main characters too much until the end, but it's really interesting to see all of that. And we get a lot more world building as far as the mythology is like concerned with our characters here. But we do have Nahari and Muntadir. They've been married for five years. Yes, there was a five year time gap between these books, but their marriage is just kind of like, we're married because we have to be. We don't love each other. We don't, you know, sleep in the same bed. We don't, none of that stuff. We're just married because we have to be. But Nahari is trying really hard to be the best Banu Nuhida that she can be. And what I do like with this five year time jump is that she's really come into her own. She has really become a very accomplished healer. She knows what she wants. She knows how she wants to help her people. And I like that a lot. She really feels like she's matured a whole lot and doesn't really feel like we missed out on any of that growth for her, like with that all happening kind of like off screen or off page. It just feels like she's become a much more well-rounded character. And we see a lot of that come into play once Prince Ali returns. He has been in exile for five years. And when he returns to Devabad, that's when things really start to heat up again. Because all of our characters, the piece that they've kind of been seeing is very, it, it's, it could change at any moment. If one character makes a false move, everything's gonna go up in flames. And that is exactly what happens. The political intrigue was really upped a whole lot in this book. And I felt like it was allowed to breathe a little bit more because in the City of Brass, we were introduced to all of it. So we kind of already knew the dynamics and how things were working. We were, became familiar with the names and everything. So once we get into this book, things could really start to get moving. And I really enjoy that. I will say that one drawback though, is that I listen to these books and these books are told almost entirely in conversation. There's not a whole lot of like, reflecting and observing and things going on in your mind or like fight scenes or any of that kind of stuff, which I'm not really one for fight scenes. But since it is all dialogue, if you stop focusing for like two seconds, you are going to miss something major. So I did have to go back and kind of re-listen and make sure I knew what was going on, who was talking, what they were talking about, all of that kind of stuff. Because things, once we get into the last book, are going to be crazy. Like, the way that this book ends is insane. And once again, it's left me like, I have to read the next book. Like, where, where is the next book? You mean I have to wait a whole year to see how everything is going to end? It's, I, I cannot believe it. I, I really am enjoying this series. This book is getting an A plus from me. It is really long, but you really need it because you need to be able to see what's going on here and live with these characters, see how dynamic it is. I think this would make an amazing TV series like it's very Game of Thrones like the beginning of Game of Thrones <laughs> just the way that it's all balanced the way that the characters interact with each other it's so beautiful and vivid and colorful and gorgeous and I just I really cannot wait to see more so I highly recommend this book if you haven't been reading this series I really really recommend that you do it's really really cool and yeah definitely a plus for me but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week that is everything got for today and I'll see you next time. Bye!